Today, we're going to talk about the Form 4 Biology, the KSSM Syllabus, Chapter 4, the Chemical Composition in the Cell. Alright, we know that cells are made out of different chemicals. The main focus today will be drawing a mind map with the characteristic of water and how these characteristics relate to their function. Alright, the first one we're going to look at today is a polarity of water. The word polar means having charge. What kind of charge? Positive or negative charge. Alright, so let's try to draw a water molecule here. We know that water molecules are made out of one oxygen and two hydrogen. So let's try to draw an oxygen and attached by two hydrogens. And the oxygen is having negative charge while the hydrogen will have the positive charge. Alright, so let's look at what happens when one water molecule meets with another water molecule. So they will form a hydrogen bond between them. Because we know that hydrogen have positive charge and oxygen have negative charge. So when they meet, they will attract to each other and form a hydrogen bond. Alright, the first point is water is a polar molecule. Next. Hydrogen bond will form when two water molecules are close to each other. So because of the polar characteristic of the water, we should make it a very very good solvent and we name it as universal solvent. So it is able to dissolve electrolyte. Alright, next we will see the specific heat capacity of water. So the meaning of a specific heat capacity means that the energy needed to increase 1 kg of water to 1 degree Celsius. So we say that water has high specific heat capacity, which is 4200 Joule per kilogram per degree Celsius. In other words, it means that 4200 Joule of energy is needed to increase 1 kg of water to 1 degree Celsius. So don't worry, we have an example here. So let me draw a beaker. So the beaker contains water, which is uh, 1 kg of water. Originally, it's 39 degrees Celsius. After that, I provide 4,200 joule of heat energy. Then the water will become 40 degrees Celsius by now. Alright, so we can notice that there's 1 degree Celsius of increase in the temperature. So water has a high specific heat capacity. It can absorb a lot of heat energy and gain a little bit of temperature. So absorb a lot of heat energy and increase a little bit of temperature. So this characteristic is important in cooling down our body and also maintaining the body temperature. Alright, next let's draw a surface and also two water molecules. So between water and water molecule means that water and water molecule they will stick together by this cohesive force. And then between water and the surface, there will be adhesive force. So this force is important in transport system, especially in plant. So it enables capillary action so that water can move in continuous column in the xylem. And xylem is found in plant. Alright guys, we have successfully drawn a mind map about water and their characteristics. If you like this video, please subscribe to us and don't forget to check out our other videos in our channel, Aspen Achiever, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.